Dream. I'm really happy you enjoyed that. I love singing that song. The next thing I want to do is a little off the beaten path, but it's a tribute to Flip Wilson. He passed on in 1998. This is my version of a routine he used to do that I thought was so cute and funny. It's titled Columbus Discovers America. I hope you like it. Listen now, everyone has idols, right? People who inspire them and drove them to greater horizons. As a kid, my idol, and he's still my idol, of all the great American heroes, my idol was Christopher Columbus. What a great thing that was discovering America. I wouldn't have found it. I don't know where you people would have been, but I wouldn't have found it. You know, discovering America wasn't a thing that Columbus had gotten wrapped up in as he got older. As a kid, that's all he talked about. He lived in a little town with his mother and father. Their names were Mr. and Mrs. Columbus. Everybody thought Chris was off his cookie. And the neighbors would tease him. They'd stop by and, and lean over the fence while he was in the yard. they say, Christopher Columbus, what are you going to do when you grow up? And he'd say, I'm going to discover America. <laughs> they say, you better cut that out. <laughs> you know there isn't any America. You know the world is square. And Chris would say, they sure are. <laughs> At 35, he'd gotten out of grammar school. He arranged an audience with the queen, Queen Isabel, Isabel Johnson. <laughs> that was the queen's name. She asked him about this America project, and he said, if I don't discover America, there's not going to be a Benjamin Franklin or a Star Spangled Banner or the land of the free and the home of the brave and no Ray Charles. <laughs> Queen heard no Ray Charles. She panicked. <laughs> Queen said, Ray Charles? You're going to find Ray Charles here in America? He says, damn right. That's where all those records come from. <laughs> So the queen's running through the halls of the castle screaming, Chris gonna find Ray Charles. He's gone to America on that boat. What you say? She wrote him out a traveler's check. <laughs> Chris ran to the local army and navy store. He bought three used ships, two pairs of fatigues, shades, and he got his supplies for the trip. He got two chicken sandwiches, three cans of anti sausages, five cases of scotch, and a small seven up. And then he got a new rag to tie his head with, too. <laughs> He's ready to leave. <laughs> He's ready to leave. All the photographers and the reporters at the pier to see him off. All the girls were there, too. They, they're all screaming, Goodbye, Columbus. He's going on that boat. He's going to America. Isabella was there, and she had a few. Isabella saying, Chris gonna find Rachel. <laughs> Chris say, be cool, Isabel, be cool. Then he turns to the first maiden and says, weigh anchor. About 10 minutes later, the first maiden says, 7,482 pounds. <laughs> Chris said, put that anchor in a boat. But you don't weigh it. You don't even know how to weigh anchor. Now, when they got out of the harbor, First mate asked Chris, which way is America? Chris said, I don't know, but uh, we're going to have to just sail around until we bump into it. We better go this way, because if we go that way, we'll sail off the edge like those other guys. A <laughs> hundred days later, the men are ready to mutiny. Chris has been goofing. He's been going through a bit like, back up. Make a right. Watch out for the edge. First mate said, come here, Chris. I said, listen now, the men are ready to mutiny. Cabin boy said, if you don't find America in two days, he's going to slap you in the mouth. <laughs> right then, a piece of wood falls by the ship. Chris said, there's a piece of wood. We're not far from America. That's American wood. He said, I know American wood when I see it. First mate said, why don't you cut that out? That's a piece of the ship. They're breaking up on us. Right then, the guy in the mast yells, Land ho! Chris says, what the hell does that mean? Chris <laughs> says, that means he sees land. Chris says, well, pull over. Maybe that's American. You're going to pass right by it. 
You guys don't even know America when you see it. <laughs> Wait a second. He said, that is America. Look at all those spacious skies. <laughs> those amber waves of grain. <laughs> Dig that purple mountain's majesty. I bet there's fruit out on that plane. It's a big holiday in America that day. A big holiday called not having been discovered yet day. All the Indians are out there on a beach. They're celebrating. They got sandwiches, six packs, three or four bags of what they use to put in a pipe. Chris leans over the rail of his ship. He says, hey, y'all, y'all, where is this? Find an Indian girl. Find an Indian girl. Find a little West Indian girl. Stand on the beach. She say, why? What's your name? What the hell do you want coming around here in them ships? Chris said, my name is Christopher Columbus. I'm a discoverer. I'm going to discover America. I'm going to discover y'all. Little Indian girl said, we don't want to be discovered. You can't discover nobody if they don't want to be discovered. You better discover your ass way from here. <laughs> First mate said, Chris, they're hostile. <laughs> Chris said, yeah, they're mad too. <laughs> so we're going in there anyway. It's America. They can't get us out of there. America belongs to everybody. Put down a lawn boat. They let down the lawn boat, which was really the short boat on the side of the big boat. They call it the lawn boat because they had a peewee boat, but they weren't going to use that. And the metal are paddling the shore, and the, and the metal are laying down because the Indians are throwing rocks and spears and flaming arrows and tree trunks and yelling and out a bunch of profanity about Chris's mother and everything. <laughs> First man said, Chris, we better not go in there. Those Indians are crazy. Chris said, turn the boat around. We'll leave. We'll make a map. We'll give it to the pilgrims. Pilgrims will fix their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was all in fun, of course. I remember what Queen Isabella said. Chris going to find Ray Charles. God bless you, Flip. And God bless you, Ray. You guys are the greatest. Good night, everybody.